back at Pontiff. <laughs> and immediately we get assigned. Yeah, baby! <laughs> the dunce of the day. This clown troop leader and its pockets full of fireworks with this lovely lot. Incestus we trust as I always do and I could not recommend you likewise adopt this principle more. Brilliant plan this blueberry had forcing me to laugh. The silver knights dusted him off it seems but the forest fires rage on. These dudes really ought to cool down a bit. Silver Knights really wouldn't be a miss to wield fire hoses around this place. Cause at this rate these fire floggers are in serious danger of possibly singeing my mustache. With all this spam. I've had just about enough of this fiery fiesta. This overeager phantom of the flaming opera is about to taste the complete opus of my trusty Cestus. The same way it allowed me to skip through all his loops of fire now it's gonna throw him for a loop. When I clock him square across the kisser. But unfortunately with one dedicated scoundrel deleted. I am now stuck with this legendary doofus around. The ever faithful and forever blundering Aldrig. I swear these all rich faithfuls do nothing but step on everyone's toes and get on everyone's nerves. Must be in their manual. Just what the hell are you even doing pal no I am not a jelly donut stop picking on me. Rather open your eyes and watch where you swing that thing. It's the baby host and his endless summons we are after. That's right go get that blueberry muffin. The blueberry rips him a new one so I have to save his unfaithful skin. And how does he repay me? He jumps back in to wet his beak again at the worst possible moment. What a dumbbell. I had a hunch it might come to this so let me clean ax you a question before we terminate this great adventure of yours I only need a brief moment of your time. Right now before we go forward with this latest pontiff adventure, let's go back a couple of months to when I received my pontiff eviction, in the form of an extensive and delicately detailed love mail the time I got outright banned from pontiff invasions. Sweet child, instructing other players how to play and what to do with his biggest gripe being when other players tell him how to play and what to do. Go figure. So now you can understand my apprehension about invading at Pontiff ever again. I'm constantly torpedoing around this place now not to entice another toddle as hissy fit. But seriously now. Check out our new bold contender, if you think the old rich are less than useless as co-invaders. What a vine prey should fall upon these mad purple plonkers. Just where the hell is he going? Did he not see me being chased by the host and his happy henchmen here? Oh well, easy come easy go I guess, but he's back for more. This purple avenger really had a knack for getting obliterated. To be fair, that is how you get good in this game, and I even tried to help him out to extend his brief game time in order to gain some experience. Tried to tank a hit for him but it was utterly futile. And still nothing could dissuade him from running out into oncoming traffic and getting steamrolled time and time again. In this stint, he lasted for about 7 seconds. Now that's gotta be some kind of a record. But enough of sightseeing and clown counting time to wrap things up in a neat festo bow. Poofus and Gallant over here kept on spamming like there's no tomorrow. This was all one long invasion and my climax was getting awfully restless.
this Vegemite star somehow gets surgically removed from his host's posterior for a brief moment and that's all she wrote. This blueberry grabs a buckler. And the big bad final boss is greatsword making him virtually invincible. And honestly it's hard to find a flaw in that logic, well on paper at least. And thus we enter endgame, the final smackdown. All kinds of lag mayhem and wonders kept creeping in but the time was late. This half hour long invasion is over, and the verdict is in. It was worth it. A great success! A real champion and a young gentleman. Now I feel sorry and inadequate for not standing still and letting them bounce chaos vestiges off my skull.